Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is Easter today, it's Sunday. It's in 16th or 17th, I'm not entirely sure. Um, 17th, I think. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're about to go fishing. Not quite sure for what. I am upstate right now, Finger Lakes region. And I'm really gonna call it like I see it. It's a little balmy out right now, 34 degrees, which is to be expected. I mean, it's supposed to be a little warmer later, but not too much warmer. Uh, I don't have a ton of time to fish, so I'd love to fish from shore. The only thing stopping me from going is this one particular spot I'd like to fish at right now that I fished at in the past. The water level's been very low, and it hasn't fished quite the way I'd like it to. Okay, here we are, folks. I am very happy to say that this lake is back to what it looks like more or less normal. Um, this water, or this lake I should say, looked completely different a year ago today. Like the water level was down at least 10 feet. Like all this was, you can walk on it um, and you would just see the whole land exposed. So it's been a while since I've really legitimately fished here. So I'm very excited to be back on it. I don't know if that means the fishing's gonna be better. Um, who knows what all that water loss did to the fishing, but at least you can fish it the way we used to, so it's deep enough here to potentially put some pre-spawn fish in front of us, or trout even, so let's give it a shot. I'm gonna fish a like five inch shadow wrap and see if we can make it happen just like the old times. Oh yeah, get that shadow wrap out. Slow and low, did I miss a guide? Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. Fish the cast though first. A lot of debris in the water, not a surprise. Let's fix that, it's gonna bother me. One reason I really wanted to fish here, as I said, the water level was just totally screwed up this time last year. Um, I do have my kayak with me and I wanted to see if it'd be even worth it to fish for, you know, the shorelines for smallmouth bass. I mean, I'm sure they would come in still, but just the way the, the drop-offs work was just totally different with all that water level down. So let's see how this goes. If this goes fairly well, I'll definitely consider getting in here, particularly since we have a couple days with some serious wind and this is pretty close to home where I'm staying. So it's very convenient to get here and it's a pretty narrow lake, so it's more sheltered than some of the larger finger lakes, so definitely high on my list of options for this uh, brief week I have here. So as I alluded to in the intro, uh, it was pretty cold out. You can see I'm wearing gloves. And when it's cold, the GoPro batteries do not perform well. And I'm bringing that up because unfortunately, Right around this time, I ended up catching a fish, and it was a nice fish, but unfortunately, the footage got totally screwed up because of uh, the battery getting too cold. So you're gonna see the fish, but you're not gonna see me catch it. So just uh, deal with that, I suppose. All right, I'm guessing I probably didn't get any of that footage because the uh, camera froze out because it's very cold out, but yeah, we got this small mouth. It's Definitely pushing four pounds, at least l mid three. Let's get a better look so you can get a better gauge. Very chunky. Just inhaled this this uh, this rapala. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. Nice fish. Wow, look at that thing. Let's get a quick shot of him. If nothing else. Jeez. All right, look at that thing. <laughs> Let's get a quick weight. I think he's probably around three pounds. Solid three pounder, maybe. Get a quick look at the scale. Oh, let's throw in the live well real quick. All right. A 
Look at that. Four pounder. Four and change. It's a uh, four. 14, that's like my second best smallmouth right there. Quick measure in the ruler. It's about, it's only 19 inches, but just so thick. Very nice. Well, that's the tough thing about fishing this time of year. Uh, cold batteries mean the batteries kind of crap out a lot, but uh, hopefully that's not the only fish we get. We get some decent footage, but at least you got to see them. You know, I figured that whole thing out with the batteries before it got to be too late, but whatever. We missed that fish once. This isn't a shadow rep. It's a very similar lure. Oh, we snapped off one of the things. Whatever. Let's see if we can get another fish. Yeah, that legitimately was my first bite of the day so far, so definitely not a bad way to start. Let's see if we can pick up another fish or two. I had a hit before that fish grabbed it, and we watched him just follow it and slam it so let's see if he's not alone okay i'm sorry we missed that hook set in the fight in the last fish but i promise you it won't happen again for this next one and it's a good one uh, but yeah, I just want to point out, you know, this cast I catch a fish, and just watch how slow I work this lure, like how long these pauses are. Um, this cast was basically like three minutes long, and I'll just cut right to the chase right now with the good part. Got him. Got him. Good fish. Good fish. Feels just as good as the last one. Let's hope it stays on. Another nice small mouth. Stay down. Stay down. Another toad. Oh man, look at the colors in this fish. Excellent. Not quite as big as the last one, but very nice, if I had to guess. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> come on. There we go. Number two, it's, and he just popped off. <laughs> that one's at least three pounds. Beautiful fish that hook out of there. Might be every bit as big as the last one. Jeez. <laughs> Easy three. Another solid one. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> Look at that thing. What a toad. This one also like 19 inches, but not quite as thick. Get a quick scale measure on this one too, why not? See what kind of bag we're working with today. Real quick. This one, 410, wow, another four pounder. Let's get him back. Wow, two four pounders, what kind of odds are those? All right, this is nuts. That's the best uh, size, you know, back-to-back smallmouth bass action I've ever had in my entire life. Two four-pounders. I've never done that in one day before. Uh, I've done multiple three-pounders, but never two... Whew, never two four-pounders. So let's see if we can make it a, a triage and hopefully get them on camera. But yeah, right now I'm fishing my St. Croix... Inshore Mojo, medium speed, fast action, or medium power, fast action. Got 10 pound test, uh, Power Pro braid. 10 pound test, Seaguar, fluorocarbon leader. It's cold, I'm screwing up my words. <laughs> We're just fishing this little shadow wrap style, Rapala, 
just really long pauses and then little short twitches. And I'll give this another like 30 to 60 minutes tops now that we've finally gotten to a bite. Um, I don't have too much time to fish today, but I just wanted to scout out the spot and we are definitely happy. Not a, a quantity day so far, but definitely quality. Let's see if we can get a few more to get a full bag. Got him, got him. Just as I was about to pull it up, they're just laying right right along those rocks. This one's I don't think is big, but it's nice. Let's not discount them yet. They fight though. Definitely a two pounder at least. Yeah, this little pound and a half, two pounder. It's just hooked a little funny. Pretty fish though. It's got that greenish brown hue. Barely hooked. Alright. Gorgeous little fish. Pound and a half or maybe two. The way these fish are going. Don't need to weigh this one, but pretty. Good. Let's see what we got. Fighting a little weird. No, dang. Ah, darn it. Just lost a fish, felt nice. Can't say that it was a bass for sure, probably, but who knows. But let's give it like two or three more casts and then we're gonna call it for sure. All right, that's gonna do it. Uh, that was pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. I was very happy with how that went overall. Uh, it was a little bit of a slow start, that first 45 minutes or so, not even a tap, but once we got into a good rhythm with that smaller shadow wrap type lure, uh, it really you know, was lights out in terms of you know a consistent bite. If I could put that lure where I knew fish would be, I'd find something, and they were all quality fish. If I only could have landed like one or two of those other fish that I lost, I mean, it would have been a, a full bag, but that's the way it is sometimes. So, uh, nice little warm up. This gave me some confidence to fish from the kayak tomorrow to have more time. I might come here, we'll see how I feel, see what the conditions are like, but probably here, we'll see uh, what the conditions are like. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. Really would mean a lot to me. Uh, and I will catch you on the water soon, so stay tuned and goodbye from fishing.